Welcome back to the Raven Tape Drive-In. I'm your host, Mr. Raven Tape, and this is The Evil Within. This is interesting. Where are we now? Oh, that's a bit of a cheap mock, mock, isn't it? Nothing inside it except for something you should sit on. I don't think that's going to work. It's good to know that it takes only about two shotgun shells to take them out. I don't think you can... Can you... Mm, I was thinking about, can you stab him in the back of the skull or not? No, 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 stay where you are. That was a nice animation to that. Let's try and sneak up behind one and see if we can. Use our knife. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. No, oh, you can't do it. That's a bit unfair. Well, I guess it's... Nope. I don't know about you, but I'm getting Resi 4 flashbacks. And granted, in Resident Evil 4, they... It was when you blew their heads off, they came out of the top of their heads. But still. Those things sucked in those tight corridors. Where'd you come from? I don't trust you not getting up. I know it could have been a waste of a match, but uh... I don't trust it. Come on boys. I got a present for you. That's it. Come on. One between the eyes. Buddy's following. He knows what's up. And no gifts from them either. What a shame. Don't they know I'm lacking brain juice? Why can't I climb up? Let me up. Let me up. Thank you. It seems like we're deep in the dungeons of the mansion or something. Well, not mansion, but hospital. Must have my mind still on Resident Evil. Oh, a free key. That's exactly what we need. You're not live, are you? No, good. Better move. Okay, who sets up a trap like this in the underground caverns now? To me, my instant thought is Batman. He's finally he's finally snapped. Some brain juice. Oh shit. I don't know how good those uh space 
No, no, no. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, tight gaps. This is what we really want. So, while I think of it, has anybody seen my Deus Ex video yet? I'd like to know what you all thought of it. Hang on, some words from Ruvik. Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality, as self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved, like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. Kind of reminds you of like a uh, split personality or a multiple personality disorder sort of thing. Having one personality which is balanced and normal and the other one completely destructive. And what the hell is that? What the fuck are those things? Oh, they look like babies. Ah, so they are a transformation of the ones we've seen before. They're like, they must like, breed. You know what? I think I'm going to stop thinking about it right there. I really don't want to get into the biological situation of this. They're already too... They already look too much like the uh, hills have eyes. Well, maybe they are. Which begs the question is, what are those little ones? Let's stop there. Let's uh, not think too hard about this one, eh? Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, mm, yeah, explosive bolt, give me another one of those. Always go scrounge around for supplies. You don't know what's in on these barrels. in too deep of course it was a trap Sophie told me to stop so many times but it was only a little further to the truth I knew there, there would be challenges but I was so close I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door the dis this door has led outside this plate I found looks like it fits in the slot it's probably the key the which way does it go 50-50 odds or oh, and all I've been here pacing for what feels like an attorney, unable to make the simple choice. Sophie, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms and I'll tell you that you were right and I'll never let you go. Well, I'm guessing from the guy that's uh, attached to the wall there, he never got out. 
But he, like he said, it's a 50-50 odd. And that's where the key goes. So we must be back in this room somewhere. Oh, there it is on the ground. This strange plate has faces carved into each side of it. One side has been streaked with blood. Let's go with the side that doesn't have blood on it. Leslie must be close then. Last time this happened, it was in the hospital. It looks like we're back to the start again. Well, at least we don't have the ch lower face knockoff chasing us. to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. He will... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Too right. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. Surprise, surprise. Okay, we're in another part Doctor. of the hospital now. This is interesting. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Myra, God bless her, had a tough three years raising a baby. Raising a baby is a full-time job and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean she's... Uh, by break, I mean coming back to the KCPD Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be any more left to investigate. They'll be all missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's so something going on in Crispin City that needs to be stopped. And Myra will be the f help to see to that. She's damn good at her job and obviously happy to do it. What the fuck is that? 
Whatever it is, we're running away from it. Run! Yeah, you just close the door on it. It's not like that'll fucking stop it or anything. Rivik. Well, shit, that was a quick chapter. Let's move on to chapter 9, eh? Castellanos. Was that someone else's memories? Unless you have badly burned at one stage, yes. You were moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream? No, I like getting set on fire in my dreams. It's a normal habit of mine. <sighs> Be this one. Let go of me! Let go of me! <laughs> See my hand clipping through the door? Just had a rough few time days, that's all. Memories are vague things indeed. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. Still playing with our mind. A quick save never hurt anybody. You look as if you'd seen a ghost. Estate fire claims children. Daughter badly wounded. Where were the parents? Children playing in a barn in Vicario Estate burned in fire. Daughter 17 left in a vegetable state. Source of fire undetermined. I wonder if it had anything to do with that fla uh, field of sunflowers. I've opened, looks like one, two, three on this side. Yeah. Let's open one on this side, eh? 
Yeah, that one will do. Can't go wrong with more brain juice, but I would have preferred ammunition or something. Yeah, that's new. Like I said in the last video, I'm not going to be aiming to try and do any sort of builds. I'm just going to pick what I can with what I've got at the time. And from there, we move on. That's not bad. Good starting point in case we pick up more. I know it's a bit of a scummy thing to save, but it's the checkpoints in this is very far few between at times. So checkpointing, checkpointing, checkpointing. So saving at times helps. Oh, that's one way to exit. He's definitely got a connection to that field of sunflowers, that's for sure. The bridge being pulled up like that kind of reminds me of Evil Dead. I think it's in the second one, where you actually see the bridge literally ripped up. A swing and a miss. amazing how strong he is to actually take out barrels of wood with a single punch. This is new. I've never been here before, but well, that ain't no small house. That's a mansion. That's for sure. Kind of sort of has the same architecture as the hospital at the beginning. Let's see if somebody's home, eh? I really don't trust that doctor. Now what? Ooh, nice outdoor glitch for you. Hmm, I don't know if the uh shadows of the trees from outside should be uh, casting a shadow inside really mm, 
we get rid of, rid of this first before we deal with the other whoever's in that other room. So I've got a couple of them. Ignore me, ignore me. You just couldn't ignore me, could you? I know I look pretty hot and tasty, but um... I'll take that axe, thanks. What the f... What? Shit, move it. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. No, I don't think that will work. Move. Oh shit. Nope, no crouch. Time to crouch. I brought him to the dining room because I thought we could talk about it being civil. But, I guess not. So I wonder if he'll show up again. like one of Ruvik's little experiments. Subject number 58, test 92A, electrode placement in M33, pain region, ineffective. Test to greater results with stimulation of section F7, the consent region of the neocortex. Subject imprint. Only partially successful. Individual personality traits linger. So am I supposed to st stick something in the consent area? Am I? Hold oh, on, let me listen to that again. Subject number 58. Test 92A. Electrode placement in M33. Pain region. Ineffective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7. Consent region of the neocortex. Okay, so subject imprint only partially successful. I'm assuming that's the right spot. Personality traits linger. Let's give it a go and hope for the best. Science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find uh, disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance. But that mind of yours, that's all that matters. That's Marcello. Is that Ruvik with him? So he's known Ruvik a little longer than he puts on. That's interesting.
That's what you get for rushing the door. I'll take that. Tragic fire kills child, nanny in Crispin City, February 11th, 2012. Despite the KCFD's quick arrival and best efforts, a fast-spreading fire for house fire took the lives of a young girl and the babysitter yesterday afternoon in Park Ridge neighborhood of Crispin City. Lily Castanis, age 5, and her babysitter, Joanna Flores, 56, were unable to escape the smoke and flames that quickly surrounded the single-family home. Lily's parents, both detectives in the KCPD, rushed to the scene but were too late to save their daughter from the flames. The blaze was finally defeated by firefighters after several hours, but the home was completely destroyed. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but initial findings point to a le faulty electrical wiring. Shit. No wonder he turned to the bottle. I knew it. Don't you think you should use your green gel? You mean my brain juice? Missing. Ruben Vierco, beloved of son of family Veronica. Family has not been seen. Bodies found near countryside estate. I have taken. Identification could take weeks for mutilated bodies found just outside of Veracruz estate. The bodies appeared to have had various crude surgeries performed on them. Sorry, I was quick with the uh, wanted poster on that last one. Right, let's go and unlock the second lock on this door. Yeah, I forgot my axe. And of course it's gone. Why why would you be able to hang on to it? It's not like you don't need it, isn't that right? I'm assuming this is Rivik's place. So I don't actually care about not kicking his door. No bad finds at the moment. That's looking good for us. Echoes of the past still resonate in the house. That's interesting. One of these days. Uh, that looks about it in this room. That's not subtle at all, is it? You know, it's the safe that's got to go behind. Two worlds separated by a jagged chrism. Above, a faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. Below, helpless victims losing everything. Ah, oh, shit, he's back. I'm fucking cornered too. Oh, 
this is going to get annoying very quickly. At least we had saved a little earlier, so it doesn't feel so bad that we just have to go back and do a couple of things. I hate doing this, going back and checking everything. I knew one of these days, those bastards were going to blow up on me. Oh, I didn't notice the grenade from earlier. That was a nice find. I hope that's a fixed item because that might have become helpful later on. Hey Ruvik, I'm breaking your shit. What are you gonna do about it? Checking upstairs. Let's see what's behind door number one. Nice big family painting and the first of the dials. The old safe is marked with the number zero to nine. Two people in that picture there. So I'm assuming two. If anybody knows about spooky children in horror movies or games, know exactly they're up to no good. Just think about The Shining, Stanley Kubrick's film, not the TV movie. The two girls at the, the twin girls at the hallway. Speaking about The Shining, has anybody seen the sequel Doctor Sleep yet? I'd like to know if there's a it's worth seeing or not. the trap off the wall first. Can I sneak around to him or not? No, he knows exactly where I am. Big shot, leg shot.
the old safe dial is marked with number three. What is that? Eleven. All right. So it's eleven and two. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. We're close to the stairs, let's get down. Quickly. Oh, the stairs, the ladder. You know what I mean. Go, 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 go. Fuck it. Rivet, you're nothing but a spoilt little boy. Now, let me open up this safe and see what you're hiding. Do that all again, eh? I refuse to save until I've got the second one unlocked. But instead of going on this door on the bottom, we're going to go straight to the second level. Hold on. Let's pick up that needle and let's keep moving. Door number one. Well, we know the number anyway. <laughs> Gotta wait for her to turn her back to us. And just like in the Pink Floyd song, Dogs. It's already blown up in my face. Wait, there's two up on the runs now? That's a little unfair. Let me through. Oh shit. A little too close, buddy. Thank you. You've got an axe. I'll take that. Always got to double check that. Yeah, it's 11. That's what I thought it would be. Yeah, I can see how I could trick somebody into thinking it might be 12 or 10. The way the uh, placement of the people in that pi picture is. Okay, this is new. This was the door I ran out of when Zoo Rubik did his magic finger thingy. Hello, anyone home? I'm just gonna keep keep kicking your doors in until someone enters. I saw her face again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, blue, beautiful as ever, streaked with moonlight. Eyes, dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favorite red dress like a crispin sunset, like a streak of blood in the waning light. Laura, of course you couldn't be dead. He seems a little too close to his sister. Ooh, another health pack. That'll come in handy. I want to hang on to as many of these as I can in case of future boss fights get out of hand. Uh, 
Yeah, it's not worth going for him at the moment. Let's keep moving. That fragment. Fuck. He's back again. Gotta move. Nope, 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 nope. Nearly ran into him. What the? Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. What was I supposed to shoot on there? Are you kidding me? The red fucking light. Alright. If I run into that trap again, I'll do that. Exactly that. But who keeps like a giant minster, minster, um, like a giant blender inside that bloody house? Then again, why am I asking that question for? It's, it's Rubik. Of course he'd keep something like that in his house. It's an accessory that goes with his house. Let's do it all again. We all know these facts and we can move on. Now I'm getting a little annoyed. Because of the way he just peers out of nowhere. I'm assuming the programming on this would be him on a set timer. But it doesn't really give you time to explore the place, does it? and stays the same until we get something. It's the definition of insanity. I'm making a point of collecting everything I might have missed. clearly can't shoot straight tonight. It's alright, you can bow before me. Thank you for more brain juice. If you're wondering why I call it brain juice, there's a sweet. Alright, uh, when I was growing up. I don't know if you can still get it or not. It was like in a small plastic bottle. And I don't know if you've ever used them before. But uh, do you remember the old Roll-On uh, deodorant? Well, body, not body spray, but the Roll-On stuff. With the plastic ball on top. Yeah, uh, it, it was basically in that shape. But instead of having something for your body. It was literally for full of basically a liquid sweet and what we would do is you you get a knife or something you sort of puncture a hole in it because it would take forever to get through the entire thing with that plastic ball in the way the idea is you're supposed to lick it but you'd bite it or stab a hole in it and just use it that way it goes down a lot quicker fuck you too I keep forgetting about it. Is 
yeah it's just a uh, like I said I don't know if you can get that sweet anymore but um it's one of those uh random things that just popped in my mind when I was when I call them uh oh, shit. right when I fuck you in your trap for a bit Fuck me, he's back again. He didn't take him long this time. Got no idea where I'm going, so let's hope for the best. Shit. Oh, joy. There's two of them in here. And Rubik, fuck. Get off me! Fuck you! Oh, he's gone, thankfully. I just got two of these assholes to put down. Be the wrong kind of rifle to use in this room. This will help though. Eat shit. frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream, but they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, consent, trust, envy. Three of these are pivotal, but which will open the way? Thank you, Rubik. Your words inspire us. As I was saying, now that I think about it, leave a comment in the comment section if you can still get the brain liquor. I'd love to know if it's available in your country or wherever. It's the same with, um, I haven't seen them for years, the Warheads, the Challengers, the st oh, my face is wincing just at the thought th of them. The challenge was how many could you stick in your mouth, which one, oh. I've never actually had that sort of reaction to a sweep before, where I just thought of it and my body just instantly winces. That's interesting. <laughs> But yeah, if, um, yeah, it was like you take the lemon, I think it was the lemon or the grape were the worst. It was like one of those cakes. Instead of something Again. interesting, it was something horrific. Subject number 14. Test 88C. Olympic driving. Temp 3. Electrode placement C4. Stimulation of the cingulate cortex. The hope center. Access improves domination of the subject's will, but domination isn't enough. So, is it the. Which one does he really want with this one, though? I'm kind of lost on it. Is it the trust or the hope? To me, it seems like the hope. Hang on. Yeah, we'll go to the hope. Hope sounds like the best choice here. Subject number 14. 
Test 88C. Uh, Olympic priming. Temp 3. Electrode placement C4. Stimulation of the singular cortex. The hope center. Something tells me he missed it. Assailing the hope access improves domination of the subject's will, but domination isn't enough. Fuck it, we're going to go hope. Either way, it worked. Always an upside to these things. The hospital has not received the family's usual donation this year. And why would they? Has the hospital been doing anything worthy of donation? The Victoriano family has always been a generous contributor. Where are your parents? They have gone away. When do you expect them? Is there something you wish to discuss, Doctor? I came to inform you that the hospital will no longer be able to provide you with assistance. Materials. Your research will very quickly disintegrate. How dare you come into my home and threaten me? So it looks like the hospital was supplying him with uh, test subjects. I wonder if this is when, if you think about it, just go. if you think about it, he did make claims of somebody else stealing his work. I wonder if it was the doctor. Have you forgotten something? Probably, but it's not important if I can't remember it. Seems 2100 seems like a good starting point for the next potential upgrade. Got one more lock to unlock on this uh, giant ass door. Okay, we've been through here before. Love the glitching. Alright. Sorry, buddy. If I can avoid wasting a lot of ammunition, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, he actually got up and took off, eh? Unfortunately, it wasn't anything useful. I'm assuming that was going to be another deadly attack. Nothing new in here. Completely missed that. Another key will come useful. No, 
Oh, that's not exactly a hottie spot, is it? Where do we want to stick this new one? Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electrode placement P2. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. Subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. Why go again on that one? Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electrode placement A2. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. Yeah, I think that's where my assumption would go. Stick it in the fears section. That's got me thinking. I wonder if you stuck it anywhere else that you just got the same result. Rubik's psyche has long snapped. I wonder how long they knew about his little experiments. Oh shit. No time to do it. Gotta keep moving. Whatever that was, it didn't, it didn't land on me, so I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna make it down there. Can we just talk about this rivet? No? Okay. Exactly. for what I'm going to do to you. Peel pristine skin. Thoughts from the mind. Rovic? <laughs> Is he showing us his past or something? Does he want us to understand his pain and why he does this? That's for sure. 
at square one again. Looks like he wants me to work for it. Luckily it's not moving not moving too quickly. Oh shit, so he's been watching Berserk. All I can say is Rivi can keep his uh, bailet. I'm out. What am I saying? I've already got the mark of the sacrifice tattooed on my neck. You can keep your herpes cloud away from me too. Fuck you, Rivik. Fuck you. Speaking about Berserk, I remember them, um... Uh... No, no, wrong way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Gonna tippy toe around the bear traps. Shit, it's closing in. Time to move. What the fuck happened there? Well, he just finally catch up to me, did he? Great, gotta go through all that again. So leave a comment in the comment section. Is it true the only good Berserk game that is available from back in the heyday of the Dreamcast to now on the newer consoles that the only good one is the only good Berserk game is on the Dreamcast? Because I've played the Band of the Hawk on the PlayStation and I enjoyed that very much. But there was more Destiny War Destiny's Warriors than anything else. But I've never played the Dreamcast version. So I'd like to know, is it actually good or not? was I led here? This doesn't look good at all. I 
know you're in here. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> Rich bastards think they can buy up all our land. They need to be shown who really owns these parts. Fucking jealous villages. Hey, I think there's kids in there. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> what the? Sounds like a plan. There. Well, I'm guessing this puzzle is pretty simple then. Yeah, so I need to move it a little closer. Well, at least we know the it works anyway. I'd be moving a little quicker in real life due to the fact that it'd be getting nice and warm and toasty in there. Why would I set more bales of hail on fire? There's already enough. I've got no idea what to start with. Fuck. <laughs> Ow. Gonna be a pain in the ass. I was lighting him on fire. Damn it. That was nearly gonna pay off or hurt really, really badly. I pinned one of them down. What sucks is that he's blaming us for something we never had a hand in. Is that all of them now?
Look, I feel for Rubik and his sister, but we shouldn't have the blame for what happened here, though. It's good to know most of my weaponry is now empty. Bless the uh, crossbow though. We're not completely useless yet. You must eat. You've got to keep your strength up. My children. I want Beatrice, we have been through this. <laughs> Whoops. And with that, we've reached the ending of another showing. I hope you enjoyed it as I have enjoyed it. And until next time, good night.